Hey everyone! Welcome back to the 8-Bit Terror channel and welcome to Fallout 76. That is right, we're jumping on the Fallout bandwagon. Um, I've played Fallout before. Hang on one second. There we go. I can hear my own voice coming back. Uh, I've played Fallout twice. I played Fallout New Vegas, streamed that a couple of years ago. I didn't really enjoy it. It was a good game, but it's a, I wasn't in a place to enjoy it at the time. And I played Fallout 4 for about 10 minutes um, and didn't enjoy that either. But, but I am excited to play this game. I have heard a lot about it that's bad. <laughs> and um, apparently a lot of what people are critical of have been, has been changed. Um, so apparently it's not bad anymore. But I think a lot of people haven't given it a second shot. Now, me being not so much fan of the Fallout franchise or the Fallout games, I feel like maybe this one might be a little better for me if like, I don't like traditional Fallout. I like something a little different. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Um, but one of the things that I am excited for is to give Fallout a second shot. I have been enjoying the TV show. I've been enjoying the shit out of the TV show, and I really, really like the, the tone of the humor and all of that. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to play Fallout. I'm excited to get into it and to, to like it and enjoy it and give it a, a fair shot. Now I'm a, I feel like I'm a better gamer now. Um, I'm less afraid of video games that they're going to kick my ass. I feel like I'm more competent, and I feel like I can kind of give it a fair shot. Um, so yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to play Fallout 76. Um, question for the chat. Hello, everyone, by the way. I'll say hello individually in just a second. But question for the chat. Have you played this game? Have you played any Fallout game? What do you know about this game? If you've heard of it but haven't played it, like, what is your perception of it? Um, and, uh, yeah. And if you have played it, did you enjoy it? Hello to Basics of Pain. You were first in the chat on Twitch. Boop, you get booped. Where is it? Boop. 
Boop. There you go. You win the trophy. You were first. First here. Hello. Good afternoon. Kevin, you were very close second. You were first on YouTube, but very close second. Uh, hello, Kevin. Uh, Dandy Denny, Spornicus Rex, the apocalypse. I'm here for it. You know me. I love a good apocalypse. So that's another reason why I just really want to like it. I want to find a Fallout game I like. I really do. Uh, Scott, hello. Lucas, hello, hello. Uh, Thomas says, hey. Um, so Lucas, you play Fallout the original back in the 90s. Is that how far back it goes? I have literally never heard anyone mention Fallout 1 or Fallout 2. Three I've heard mention. Wait, is there a three or is that New Vegas? There must be a three, right? New Vegas I've heard a shit ton about and have played myself on recommendations and i think that's why i think that's why like i kind of struggled because everyone was like oh my god it's so good you're gonna love it you're gonna love it you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that and you're gonna do that and i'm like oh i'm feeling a little overwhelmed <laughs> like, calm down i feel like i'm obligated to enjoy this now and that kind of killed the enthusiasm for me like i said i'm a different gamer now but back then i was i was like a little bit more um i don't know just like in a comfort zone and now i'm enjoying getting out of my comfort zone um so yeah what the fuck is fallout one does that you does that is was that a game what was it like i've never heard of it uh and fallout 4 i know everybody loves everybody loves new vegas everyone loves fallout 4 and apparently no one likes 76 apart from the hundreds of tens of hundreds tens of thousands hundreds of thousands i don't know lots of people who still play it um the subreddit seems like actually a really kind of non-toxic subreddit which is interesting and, and rare um but uh but yeah I, i'm excited to get into this one so thomas you played all the fallouts except for this one okay cool so you can help me with like understanding the lore and like some of the the systems uh which is where i i kind of i feel on the back foot because i'm this is what the fifth or sixth game in the franchise and not knowing some of the systems like the special um point where you put points into different characteristics to create a character build i'm like i don't fucking know i don't know i don't know so you can maybe help me with a, a little bit of that a little bit of insight uh lucas says if you speak to 10 different people you'll get 10 different opinions about which fallout game is the best i don't know everyone seems to say new vegas that's what i've heard new vegas or four one or the other Scott, you started playing Tom Clancy's The Division yesterday. Forgot how hard that game is. I've never played it. Tried to play it one time and couldn't get it uh, work. It was on an Xbox or something. I don't play on Xbox. It was at my boss's house and he has like a weird audiovisual setup where you have to press certain buttons to get the input to come up and the sound. And it was like, oh God, I just can't, couldn't get it working. And then I had to install the game and then it was downloading an update and it just took forever. And I was like, oh, fuck this. Fuck this, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Goma Black Magic and the Joker Gamer. Hello, Joker Gamer. I saw you were streaming. Days gone, early today. And I was going to say hi, but I, I'm, you have to have followed your account for like a month or something to say hi. And I've only been following you for a week. So, hi, saw you were playing Days Gone. Um, Kevin, you played Fallout on PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. It's been a while, the first one. Um. Mm -mm. Thomas says, uh, in my opinion, New Vegas was good, but I have more cool memories from Fallout 3. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that this is the gateway to me liking Fallout more. And maybe, maybe I could get in Fallout 4 or maybe replay Fallout New Vegas or something, or maybe play Fallout 3. What system was that on? Was that on PS2, PS3, something like that? I'm excited. Anyway, how the fuck is everyone? It's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. Let's play some fucking video games. I apologize for the lack of sound right now, by the way. Um, we are on the, as you can see, the main menu. Um, but I've had to turn the music off because one thing that Fallout does really fucking well is copyright for YouTube and for Twitch. Apparently Twitch is worse than YouTube, which I didn't realize. Um, copyright claims for the music they they use a lot of public domain music public domain music but then they have a lot of copyrighted songs or like covers of songs that they've 
they've obviously paid for or whatever. So I had to turn all the music off and there's like nothing else going on in the background. So I apologize for the, the quietness, but we will get into the game in just one second. Let me switch my input. Goma, you're on Twitch as well. Hello, hello. Like, and share. Thank you. Thank you, Goma. As a reminder for anyone, feel free to clip, like, share, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, it all helps the, the algorithms and whatnot. Um, okay, so, hang on, I'm getting everything set up. I also have changed a few technical things on my stream deck, my little buttons. It looks slightly different, so I'm like, wait, what? What did I do? I think we have sound. So I, I played this for a few minutes earlier. I started a new character. Um, not on any of that. And then I deleted it because I want to do it from the start. From the start with, uh, with you guys. So. I have sound. You guys have sound. You can hear the, the menu clicks, right? Um, all right, let's get into it. Play. Let's go. So this is, for those who don't know, this is kind of like an online experience, but you can actually set it to be very, 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 very much. Please don't interact with me. And it has a really good system for getting into fights with other players. If you want to do that, there's actually like a sort of handshake agreement that happens. And if you don't want to do it, you can either turn it off entirely or you can choose to not engage and it won't let the other person like kill you. It's really good. I don't know why every game doesn't do this. This would make me want to play more online PvP games if you can actually choose to not get your ass kicked. I'm not going to talk over this opening scene, by the way. War. Let me know if the sound is good. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts minds and ultimately america itself yeah america as we stand here today we pray that the world will know peace but if that is not our destiny if war must come we stand together knowing that here in vault 76 our future begins Yay! I'm a bit uh, hazy on the timeline of all of this, like the specific years of when this takes place, when the bombs dropped, when the vaults were built, because it's like an alternate history. Um, but we can roll with it for now. Hopefully we'll, we'll find out some more or I can do some research. So, important thing, we're going to be playing this in third person. But this first bit has to be first person, uh, just for now. So, um... Ooh, okay, so we get to pick our character. I, I kind of don't really care uh, so much. Let's see. This is the one that it randomly selected for me when I played it an hour ago. Um, 
Ooh. No, we're not playing Sim. Uh, oh, like, kind of like old guy. He looks like he wouldn't do so well. Do you have a ponytail? Oh no, we're not. We're not doing a little, little ponytail. Ooh, he looks a little bit like the guy from Detroit Become Human. Like, kind of intense eyes, shaved head. Obviously, I think it was. Um... Oh, what was the character's name? Was it Marcus? I think it was Marcus. <laughs> he looks like Rex. Wait, who looks like Rex? Not that guy. Which one looks like Rex? Not this one. That's not Rex. <laughs> Lucas says, I always wondered what 76 referred to. I know, me too. I assumed it was a year, or but it's also the vault. I think let's go with this guy. Right? He looks all right. He's just average. Well, the skinhead is not how Rex looks. Um, so, uh, Goma says, any friend of Days Gone is a friend of mine. <laughs> it's a joker. Yeah. Yeah, we're a big Days Gone family here. Um, Dandy Denny, you've never been able to get into any of the Fallout games. So who here is watching the show? And if you're watching the show, do you know anything about Fallout? And you can let me know in the comments if you're watching this later. Leave a comment under the video. Um, Lucas, you bought Fallout 4 on Steam sale, but you haven't loaded it up yet. Friends told me Fallout 3 was best and Fallout 76 was the... What is that? MMORPG? Multi-massive... Multi... -massive, multi player online rpg what the fuck it stands for that's what yeah i was kind of worried that it was gonna be that but apparently it's not it's it's technically online but you totally as dandy denny puts it you opt out of all pvp stuff um all right let's go with this guy oh god name the character all right let's call it rex it him there we go we're <laughs> so spawn because rex doesn't mind um, this picture identifies the card holder as a resident of Vault 76. Oh, Ooh, shit, what do we know? He looks very grumpy. Um, I feel like that's a better headshot. Uh, okay, yes. Um, cool. So, we're saying the the game you can play it first person or third person which i think is pretty standard for most if not all of the fallout games we will be playing in third person because first person makes me a little queasy and i know it's not so easy to watch on a live stream but we have to wait just a couple minutes before we can switch um all right so happy reclamation day today is the day everyone reclamation day we've been preparing for this moment for 25 years we're ready you're ready america is waiting for us so let's get out there the overseer and then um countdown to reclamation day who everyone when 10 p.m to midnight that's a pretty short party we've opened the remaining liquor rations and the official vault tech party hats the overseer will give a speech at 10 minutes to midnight and we'll lead the countdown have fun and then there's this uh, there's like a little mini game in this where we can like serve people beer I don't really know what the point is. Did we do that one? Oh. <laughs> we might come back to the, that later. Um, ba -ba -ba. Yes, it should be mandatory mandatory for online games. Definitely, Dandy Denny. Ian L says we want jiggly bits. Uh, you're on the last episode? Wait, the last episode of... Oh, of the TV show. I was like, the last episode of what? The TV show. I have two episodes left. So no spoilers. It's really fucking good. I love it. I love it. I knew it was going to be good. Um, But I wasn't sure if, you know, how much I would... I would enjoy it, not knowing much about the Fallout franchise. But it's... It's... For the most part, I think you... It's very inviting into that world. The main character is fucking awesome. Lucy is just fucking brilliant. I love her naivete. Um, I do wonder how much people who know nothing about the games feel about uh, about the... Uh... Oh, there's clipping on that writing there. Toilet. Tiva. 
um, yeah, how people would feel about the the lore and everything. Can we take the hammer? Um, but yeah, the episode six was was really really funny. I liked it. Um, Alright, so I'm turning out the lights because we're supposed to be leaving. Uh, pick up the Pip-Boy. Let's get it. Ian, you enjoyed the first season? You don't know much about Fallout 76 and lore, but you played the others a little bit. Uh, BOP, this is Fallout 76. So this is the one that was actually, if you look it up, really badly reviewed and people very vocally don't like it. But I have done some research and think that it's i think they've changed a lot of stuff that people didn't like so i think it's going to be i think it's gonna be good um okay now we can yay there we go all right now we are in third person let's go you have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of america so there's a big party here it's night can i put a hat on just know that vault tech is proud of you I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. Ooh. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. They keep going Appalachia, which is weird. Should we leave the stove on? Should we just leave it on and then just leave? Oh shit, can we turn it off? Oh no, I don't think we can turn them off. System Ooh, it's uh it's closing down. We need to get the fuck out of here. Wait, garden I thought this was a garden gnome, like sit on a garden gnome. Wait, did it? Garden gnome, activate! <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm not doing... I'm not doing laughing garden gnomes. Um, okay. Let's... Ooh, God, that's a bit jiggly. All right, I won't do any sprinting, because that's a bit... Ugh, sickening. Scott, you would watch it, but you don't have Prime. Fair enough. Um, Prime is actually... It's... <laughs> fucking annoying. They've, uh, so you pay, you know, fuck ton of money, um, basically to get priority shipping or like no minimum shipping, which used to be two days and now it's like quite often not. And, uh, and you had like the TV shows and stuff included and some movies, um, they've slowly sort of rolled back what you get and now you have to pay another $3 a month to get it without ads. So kind of fuck prime. Um... It might be worth getting like a, if you can get either a free trial and just like binge the show in a week. It's very binge worthy. It's only eight episodes. So it's not going to take you a stupid long amount of time. Um, you could pay for a month and then you can watch it and whatever else is on there. Um, or, you know, I wouldn't suggest anything like piracy. That would be definitely bad, but I'm sure, you know, People who like to do bad things can Google such things and figure out how to how to do that. But I would never, I would never recommend that. At last, today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. These things are so fucking weird. Sure. Uh, this is my home. I don't want to leave. Hearing to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. But I haven't learned anything yet. You have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Thrive? Are we going to thrive in a post-apocalyptic world? Thrive? Mr. Naive Vault Dweller is going to thrive? Is that, is that what we're going with? Actually... Come on, let me uh, let me do the rest if of the dialogue options. Mr. Handy units out there, do send my regards. I don't like how his eyes go in different directions. Oh, oh, is that it? Can we not no time to waste. talk about the other options? No? Okay. Um... 
Uh, so, yeah, BOP is asking... Hang on, where's my mouse? I just rearranged my windows ever so slightly so I can see the chat better. There is indeed a multiplayer aspect. You can... Oh, God, how do I... Nope. How do we bring it up? Nope. Shit, there's a button. It might come up in a little bit. Um, You can play, I think, in, like, teams or something. Um, So you can, like, play with friends and, like, work together, sort of co-op. You can also... It allows you to attack other people that you find in the world if they also allow that and want to want to engage in that way. Um, so there's pacifist mode, which I've turned on, which is like, just please don't fuck with me. And like, it won't let anyone fuck with me because like, we're just doing this for, I don't know the game all that well. We're just doing this for fun. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to lose all my shit to some rando, rando on the, you know, random 12 year old or something on the internet. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Nuclear strike imminent? Well, isn't the vault the place where I want to stay? We can take the party hat. That's cool. Um... So, uh, yeah, you can turn that off, but if you leave it enabled, the handshake deal is basically, if someone shoots at you, it'll take a small amount of damage. And if you ignore them, they can't damage you again. But if you shoot back, then you've like entered into an agreement that like, it's now on, we can now fight and you can actually like fight and kill other players and take their shit. Um, don't want to be murdered by a 10 year old. Yeah, I mean, call me old fashioned, but Okay, so vault tech report. Obviously, eyes only. 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Specifics will be disseminated automatically as that time approaches. After reclamation day, you are personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one except vault tech can access or launch nuclear ordinance to be clear even if there are other authorities whether government militia or otherwise their claims are to be ignored vault tech alone maintains jurisdiction so these are for the person who runs the vault this is not us this is just what their goal is uh congratulations over here vault 76 is one of the most important projects that vault tech has completed no expense has been spared on building staffing and selecting the inhabitants of your vault Cream of the crop of America have been chosen, including luminaries from Vault Tech University. The special classes and instruction you've received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see to the livelihood and well-being of all of your residents and make sure they're ready to colonize America once the all clear is received. It is to be expected you will face challenges we haven't prepared for. Adapt, learn and thrive. America is counting on you. Your job as the overseer is to see to the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. All costs. The Vault residents have been carefully chosen for their unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of the Vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last resort, each domicile can be locked down and the resident imprisoned for any duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solitary confinement can lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault doors cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entry clear of all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. If America is to be rebuilt, every life in this vault is special. Reserve them all. Our studies have shown that even after a relatively short duration of living with the amenities of Vault Tech, the test that the amenities of Vault Tech, the test subjects can grow to depend on them. That will not do for Vault 76. After the all clear message is received, Vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease last, and you should warn the Vault residents that staying inside the Vault can be lethal after the spirit can be. Can be lethal. I think would be if they're shutting down the air circulation. Everyone must leave the nest. It's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. 
Um, did we read these ones? Ooh, we counted down to midnight. I haven't seen any... I haven't seen everyone cheer like that since Vault Baby Number One was born. I called lights out a couple hours ago. Had to get security to help few people to their beds. Then the volunteers and I got all the standees set up just like we practiced. Need to make the final recordings and then it'll be time to head out that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the doors open. Really? Uh, we have no information about what awaits us. Alt Tech says we're America's best hope. Now we'll find out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I want to say hi to Albert. Hello. Welcome in. Um, if you're into lore, which see in your channel you are, you should check out the single player Fallout games. They're amazing, both game and story. Thank you. Yeah, so I mentioned this earlier. I'll just cover it real quick. Um, I played Fallout New Vegas a few years ago, two or three years ago, um, and I didn't. I honestly didn't really get into it. But since watching the TV show and since seeing other people play Fallout 4, and I played like 10 minutes of Fallout 4, um, and realizing kind of the tone of the world, I'm actually, I, I really like it. I really want to like this game. I really, really do. So, and you're right, the lore and story are like huge to me. I fucking love that stuff. So I really should like this. Okay, another year down, our mission continues. Top issues, at current count, six, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale officer, sounds a bit like an oxymoron, morale officer, um, the morale enforcer, has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia, as they pronounce it. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, but tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance. And arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've been loath to institute mandatory rationing. But in 2101, that may be necessary. 76 is full to bursting with people more than we anticipated. Top successes, the award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the most hardened egos since everyone's so damned competitive. The low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over the Best Dental Hygiene Award. I love the, the sense of humor in these games. The senior staff has been exemplary, as always, very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievers located, but another year down and we're still here. The Vault 76 World Cup! has proven to be a huge hit. The ball damn near broke the jukebox, uh, but the energy in the atrium was just amazing. Deleted files. Okay. Oh, no, don't mean to be on that. That was very dramatic. I'm a bit concerned by the open flame under these things. Okay, so we have a camp, which stands for something. I don't know what. I'm hoping we'll find out. Yeah, Albert, New, New Vegas expects you to play Fallout games before. Um, which I hadn't, so maybe it wasn't the best introduction. Uh, Fallout 3 is more of a child's first Fallout. Oh, you can mod that? See, I play on PlayStation, so I don't do much in the way of modding, which is another thing that Fallout New Vegas, I, from what I understand, it's kind of, it benefits from some of the more, um, the mods that kind of give it more of like a, a updated graphics and things like that. Like more of a Please, polish. Sir, I can't pretend it's Reclamation Day any longer. Even my programming has limits. Okay, let's do it. Goodbye. Aloha. Ciao. Oh, I'm going to stand back from that thing. What is happening? 
Okay, so we can pick. Oh, I guess I can start level two. Interesting. Um, it says best choice, battle ready dweller. So we can either like build our own, I think, or we can pick something that's like already kind of built for us. So, and we get to start at level 20. Build your own. I could do the build your own, but honestly, while we're streaming, uh, I would spend forever reading everything and would still not know what the fuck I'm doing. So let's go with battle ready. And I remember in Vegas, I really like the VAT system. So we might go with that. Uh, but honestly, mm, hello. Shotguns. Uh, I don't want pistols. I don't want melee. automatic weapons i don't know what do you think commando or specialist do either of those shotgun you know i love shotguns but they're not always appropriate um gustavo hello uh i don't i don't know i don't know the answer to the question i don't fully understand the question In Indrid Cold still in the game. Smiling Man. People think he is an alien or has ties to Mothman. I I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Um I suppose that's a good question. I did ask Sponicus Rex about the, the special, the S P E C I A L, which each thing stands for something and I can never remember what they are or what they mean. Um, and he said the P, the perception, having that be pretty high is really important. So I think we might go with this one. We might go commando. We might go commando. I mean, why not? No visible panty line if you're going commando. Um, hello, Giselle Miser. Hello. And Dylan, how's it going? Uh, how many fallouts you on right now? <laughs> How many fallouts are we on? I don't know. Uh, this is this is seventy six. This is Fallout seventy six. Uh, sure, let's go command. Let's go commando. I mean, why not? Why not go commando? Yay! Um, cool. All right. Fallout seventy six was built to save the best and brightest in the event of a nuclear holocaust. On Reclamation Day, they would emerge, and begin to rebuild America. I guess that's what we're doing. Look at us, ready to rebuild America, not knowing what the fuck is happening. Hello. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly... What is going to be my build? I don't know. I don't they know yet, Selby. So any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Okay. Um, you sound like you think they're up to something? I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. Well, no I'm fucking sorry shit. To say it, but it's the truth. Um, so if anyone knows the law, I only know kind of more of the law of the TV show, which I'm still a little hazy on. If anyone knows the, the timeline law of this game and or the entire Fallout franchise. I don't know if they're all consistent or not. Um, well, I'm yes, kind of curious just to know, like, years? Time. Like, how long but has it been since the bombs dropped? Woman, I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. <laughs> She'll be fine. All right. Uh, I ought to be on my way. Do be careful out there, sir. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right, we'll go, we'll go check out those ladies that are down there in just a second, I think. Yeah, there's something here. Take everything. Oops. Don't need to press circle to exit out of picking everything up. Um, Gustavo, you got your hands on veteran ranger armor in New Vegas first time. Nice. Uh, Selby says 2077. 
2077 is when the bombs go off, so they haven't gone off yet. Or have there been other bombs? And now there's going to be more bombs. I fully don't understand the timeline. Uh, Lucas says a lot of my friends are complaining about the timeline of the TV show. They say it doesn't make any fucking sense. Got to be a way in there. Honestly, it. <sighs> a vault dweller? Hey there! I'm, yeah, confused. I don't know. The TV show doesn't seem to be consistent with the games, but I couldn't say for sure. Um. Oh shit, yeah, I don't know what this is, but cool. Thank you. Hello, persons! Whoa, whoa! Just a friend here. Oh, Selby New Vegas is your jam? Games take place over a 200 period. Oh, after the bombs have gone off in 2077. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. You'll eventually get all them laws. Um, all right, so they want to get into the vault. Uh, yeah, what's your interest? My partner and I need a way into that vault. Oh, yeah? We got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps... And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. The big one, you say? Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, the big one's in there, all right. We managed to trap it, but I barely made it out with my life. Um, yeah, the big one. What are you talking about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. The thing that brought everyone back? What? Um. Oh, the treasure! Why didn't you say so? You're in the right place. I know it. See you, Sella. It wasn't a scam. Mm-hmm. I feel bad. Sure. Sir, is there any way for us to actually get inside there? No. Um. Things built to survive a nuclear blast. I don't think you're getting in. What I thought. Wait. There's no way in. Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. <laughs> she sounds so disappointed. It's only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Yeah, uh, you can tell Selby Miser how it how it, the fifties aesthetic has survived for two hundred years. I have that same question. Um, and it's not just the 50s aesthetic, it's like the 50s, um, rah-rah America kind of vibe. And I, the games, is it, are you fighting like the communists or whatever in the games as well? And that's a big thing with the TV show. Uh, I like how the show handled power armor, even modded power, power armor was just lacking. Yeah. Um, okay, what can you tell me about this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can uh -oh. get a piece of it. Sounds like a dangerous monsters, kind of place. Wait, I'm sorry, you said monsters? The guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name. He gave us a couple of leads to chase down in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. Um, yeah, what can you tell me about the area? Specifically the monsters. Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. Like the big thing? The scorched. The scorched? They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, uh -oh. everything else has gone haywire. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. 2102 AD. Oh. Well, they got picked clean fast. On I mean, up, that noise. Dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Well, see ya. Watch yourself out there.
Okay, so welcome to America. Doesn't it look pretty? That she really does. Whoa. I apologize for that noise in the background when I speak. There's some... I don't know if it's like a lawnmower going off. Let me close the window. Hang on. Hopefully that's it. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, It'll mark it on your map. Oh, what did I press? Oh, uh, no. One of that. So we're here. Vault 76. I do like the map. It looks, it kind of looks like a sort of a tourist map or something. Um, so we are heading to the Wayward, the, uh, the bar. Who's Lane? Speak to Lane. The sign mission? Um, we view expeditions? No. Oops. Damn it, we are going to be pressing the wrong button for a little while. Uh, okay, so... Data! Is it the wayward? All right, we have to listen to some things on the radio. Now, I have actually um, disabled the radio sound, but I think if we go into the map menu, we can actually put the radio back on. Uh, uh, no, world radios, no. Pit-boy radio, there it is. Oh, I did turn it back up, okay. Uh, Dylan, you just joined the Discord. Awesome. Let me drop a link in. Hang on, this is... There we go. Drop a link in the chat. If you're not on the Discord already, do come hang out. Come hang out and uh, keep the conversation going. I need some more Bing Crosby. <laughs> the goal of 76 is to get to the Winchester and wait for this whole thing to blow over. All right, let's take a look around. I hear wind chimes. Do wind chimes mean anything? Maybe that's this. I think these are the players. Oh yeah, look, so there's other players in the in the game. Ah, uh, but not many. And from what I understand, most people just kind of, like, do their own thing. Ooh, dead things. What is that? Soot flower. All right. Figure we'll we'll figure out what that means. What it's for later on. Oh, now I hear more wind chimes. Raider left arm. There's a cat down there. There's a cat. Look, there's a cat. Oh, we can take the wind chimes. Oh, fuck yeah. Why would we want to take an arm? Can we please take him? I like how it just shuts them up. What was that? What was that? We just got a noise. What just happened? <laughs> the release of the game was like the Wild West. Everyone... Um, it was a dick and it's calmed down a lot now. Yeah, that's, that is what I've read, that this got like a really bad reception originally, just because it was really not very well thought out. And now they've actually done a lot to make it more accessible and more playable and more enjoyable. So I feel like being linked to the Fallout 76 party is actually a good thing. What the fuck? 
I'm sorry. What the fucking shit is going on? How do I shoot? Oh, I don't actually want to shoot him in the leg. Can I? Okay, well, I, that took me by surprise, and I'm not expecting that. Shooting in bats will hit based on the percentage. No need to aim. All right. Can we jump? Hmm. Uh, this game was recommended to me, says Joker. Uh, I want to buy it if anything happens, but I want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 again. Oh, yeah. Third person fire makes me nauseous. Is there a first person? The first person will actually make you way more nauseous. And it will make me more nauseous as well. I can't do first person. Um, first person is fine. I think it's like okay if you're playing it yourself. But when you're watching someone else play it, it gets really wild. And for me, I, d I just, I don't like it. Um, that was a little wild. I got a little surprised by whatever combat situation just happened. Um... I will try my best to keep it pretty smooth. Yeah, <laughs> that's the noise of you becoming part of the loot hoarding family. Oh, I'm already, already well acquainted, well acquainted with looting. Um, the thing that pisses me off is games that, that have like a weight limit where you have to put shit down. It's like, no, 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 I looted that. I want to keep it. What is this? What is, what is this up ahead? What the fuck is that? What is this? Tektron. Oh, that doesn't sound like fun. Um, I literally just walked out of the vault. I don't feel qualified to um, get in fights and stuff yet. I think we're going to... We'll come back to this in a minute. Nomad! Hello! Welcome in! I knew I had to have left my arms somewhere close by. Seriously, though, why can you... Why can you pick up... Why can you pick up... Uh, arms. What is that all about? Okay, where are we? Where are we going? Oh, we got some. We got some wood. Is that a person? Hello. Howdy. What's that over there? Uh, scavenger. Friendly? Can I interact with you? Are you gonna kill me? Dude. Uh. I uh. know you got something for me to drink. It's very forward of you. Um. Yeah, I'm not giving you anything. Lightweight like you couldn't keep up anyway. Lightweight. Yeah, all right. Still the shit out of your toolbox. Is that a cat? Oh! <gasps> Is that a dead cat? Is that a dead cat? Did we just find a dead cat? What the fuck? And then we welcome you to the slow walking family. Uh oh. I don't know what all these plants are for. I hate how difficult it is to pick stuff up in this game. <laughs> Just let me take the beer bottle! Uh, hi. Ruben's safe key. Checklist. Distract him, stash the rest of the supplies, jump in the other crate. Pray to God I survive. Find anyone from 76 and kill Zax. Need more materials to keep building the shelter. Wood, steel, screws, gears, copper. Hey, Melissa S. Hello, hello. 
Welcome in and happy Friday. That's a cooking station. We can craft things. We can make some simple soot flour tea. Corn soup. I don't know what any of this is for. We'll come back to this later. Um, why does so much adult time revolve around making, prepping, buying and cleaning up after food? Good question. Can we defrost our Uncrustables? Doc, hello! Welcome in. I haven't seen you in a little bit. Where have you been? Dandy Denny, so you... I thought you liked... Um, hang on. I'm, there we go. I was messing up the chat. Uh, you're saying the third person also makes you nauseous? I always find that watching first person makes me nauseous and i know a lot of people say that with streaming that first person is is tricky because at least you always in third person have something that isn't moving on the screen something that's always in the same spot narrative nexus hello welcome in so question what has everyone got planned for the weekend what are you all up to and what the petrified corpse oh no Oh no, I think I Oh I got po oh no, we've we've got radiation poisoning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's uh You're... what I don't know why we keep aiming at the ah! Ah! We keep aiming at the legs. Don't aim at the legs. Ooh, fuck me. Ooh. Wait. Fall over. Or something. I don't think I'm very good at this game yet. I don't know why he keeps aiming at their legs. Oh, hello. Hang on. We got a we got a submachine gun. Um, how do I switch weapons? Oh shit, I just used the a, a thing. I used the thing. Um, no. How do you change weapons? How do you change weapons? Uh, <laughs> first person, oh, first person sometimes makes you nauseous. Okay. Stem pack is worn off. Okay, uh, cool. You've been working, Doc? Been a busy month? That's all right. You don't have to apologize. I was just, uh, I'm just glad to see you. Next Friday, you'll be in Denver. Fuck yeah, Dandy Denny. Next week is, in fact, Days Gone Com. I'm going to be making an update, uh, like a post or something on the Discord over the weekend, uh, just kind of getting excited for that. Drink, okay, what is up with these? I must have the, the uh, size of the text too big or something. I didn't change it. There we go, drink and collect. That's really weird. Oh yeah, let's, well, let's do both of those. Can we drink? Oh, it gave me radiation poisoning, no! All right, well, fuck that. I thought it was gonna be clean water. Wait, what was that? White plate. I don't know why we're stealing plates and coffee pots. <laughs> Maybe you're a leg build. Maybe. Oh, hello. Can I take this? Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell's that mean? Supplies running low, 
may try to get to Abby way over the mountain. Free states have gone no more. Sammy, you read this, get to Abby straight east of the Red Rocket Mega Stop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. May angels look after you, because sure as shit, nothing else. <laughs> I like that. Um, straight east of Red Rocket Mega Stop. What's that? Um, see Mothman Museum. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Oh wait, is that something? Uncanny caverns. Whoa, what is this? Blast zone? America! Here's to the next 300. I have no fucking idea what's going on. No idea. <laughs> you have chosen poorly. <laughs> uh, now with more radiation. Brotherhood of Steel or a bunch of slack-jawed pussies, says Lucas. Holy shit. Fighting words. Shotgun shot. Shotgun pop action. How do I use these guns? And a cat. Cheswick. Cheswick the second. Oh, and there's a cat ball down there. Oh, Federalist desk typewriter. We could take a typewriter. Do you have any idea how heavy typewriters are? All right, all I need to know is how do we switch guns? In fact, hang on, I have a list of buttons. Um, it doesn't help. Is it in the pit boy then? Uh, haven't played 76, there's probably a field of view slider for both first and third person perspective. Might help with the motion sickness. I don't know where it is. I've, it took me a long time to figure out where this is. And I suppose I was wrong when I said at least you have a fixed point of view. Uh, I'm sorry, a fixed item on screen in third person. You also have your hands. I just, where's my body? It's just, I can't, I can't do, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I apologize if, if third person is not your favorite um, view. Sorry, but suck it up. That's what, that's what we're playing, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Um, Pit Boy, then favorite the weapon. Oh, wait, I, ooh, no. What did I just do? Um, item, item, here we go. Weapons, ah, ha, ha, ha. now we're getting to it, now we're getting to it. Fragmentation grenade, pipe pistol. The machine gun. Oh, I remember this hunting rifle. So that one's favorited right now. I assume that's what the heart means. Um, short pump action shotgun. Oh yeah, switchblade. Fuck that shit. Um, that's accuracy twenty-four out of a hundred. Not very good. Let's go with the short ten mil submachine gun. So favorite that. I'm Gonna unfavorite the hunting. Well, actually, the accuracy is pretty good. That's just better than this one. Um, how do we? Yes, that one. I have no armor on my left leg. Oh. Oh, I do. It's two left leg things. I don't know how to... How do you... Oh, that's how you put the party hat on. Okay. What do the glasses do? Do they do anything? Okay. <laughs> Got that done. There we go. That will cure the motion sickness, for sure. So we get out of this house. Um, yeah, if anyone knows where the slider is for the field of view, yes, please do tell me. Um, and also, how do we... Is it a party hat or a dunce cap? See, I don't think I've equipped the other weapon. I don't know how to change it. 
<laughs> my favorite part is when your character says, looks like we had a Fallout 76 or something. Say in the name of the game. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. D-pad. I, I accidentally used the stim pack already. Down is the emotes. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. There it is. You cycle through the guns, right? No, is that the... Are those different? Oh yeah, they're different. Oh look, we can repair and stuff. Steal a wrench. Oh, what was that? Wooden spoon! I mean, why not? No idea what I'm going to do with all this stuff. <laughs> the game is about 75 fallouts you don't see. Jazz. Oh, 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 oh. Why am I constantly just aiming at the legs? I don't... It's a squirrel. I don't want to hurt a squirrel unless it's going to hurt me. Come at me, bro. What is it? Triangle critical. What does that mean? No idea. No idea. Uh, hello, I would like to... Yeah, that's definitely a mean squirrel. Squirrel bits! Mmm, delicious. D-pad switches target in vats. Ooh! Check the rads! Check the rads! Uh, keep accidentally hitting that button. Uh, I don't know. This? You tell me? Leg shots only stream? Yes, yeah, the challenge for this playthrough. Leg shots only. I love that I'm wearing the party hat. Uh oh. Can we can we sneak? How might we sneak oh Oh shit. Oh shit. Hello. What's up, mate Kevin? What's up? Hi. I'm just standing here. <laughs> I'm fucking dunce cap. <laughs> Someone like runs around me. Are these m all day. mine? Somebody is having a fun time without me. Who's shooting? Also, what on earth? Power armor station. Fucking hell, I have no idea what's going on. Alright, let's talk to Lane. Hello. Hello Lane there, Platt. Stranger. Where did you come ambling in from? The hat it didn't give it away. Uh I'm from like the capital. Yeah, no, let's 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 be honest. Never skip leg day! I've heard tell of your kind. Jesse! Jesse Hayden! Hello! Hello, hello! How's it going? Not so too long. To Currently waiting at the vet with your cat. Oh no! I could use one of those right about now. Is it like checkup or like a proper, oh, like, excuse. bad situation? Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Mm -mm. Appalachia's filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. <laughs> Less a leg man. <laughs> Love that. Um, the do-gooders? I hate do-gooders. No, oh, let's lie to him. A noble goal. I think so. 
It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Run, Forrest, run! There's a lot going on to tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, creepy cult moving into the caves, and all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand. And I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? Oh, like bounty hunting? Sure. I'll help for the right price. I did say that you would be duly compensated. That much is only fair. Now, what business do I have for you today? We've had reports that a dangerous cult, the cult of the Mothman, has moved into a cave system nearby. They're part of a larger organization that extends all throughout Appalachia. And learning more about them will help us combat their spread. I'd like you to go into those caves and gather some of their ritual artifacts for study. You'll no, I don't think so. For returning them to me. Uh, sure. Okay, leave it with me and I'll I'll ignore it until later. <laughs> uh, oh, she's getting a dental cleaning next week and the x-rays they took yesterday weren't super clear. She has to retake them. Oh, she's not super into it. Yeah, uh, cats. Cats don't tend to really appreciate um, being taken to the vet because they kind of don't really know what the fuck is going on. I had to take my cat to the vet on Wednesday and uh, he was very much not into it. Very, very much. Okay, so I am going to... We're going to take the hat off. Let's put the glasses on. Um, and then the weapons. We have the machine gun. Hunting rifle on. Let's favorite the pump action shotgun. Oh, and the... Tactical automatic combat rifle. How much how much ammo do we have? Do we Is it the 107 of 185? I feel like I, at this point in the game I can only remember that I have two weapons and like which one's which. Let's go with that. And I just realized this wasn't our main visual in our glasses. Oh, how do we do photo mode? There it is. Look at this. Look at this little fucking nerd. Look at me. I'm such a nerd. I'm very serious. He's a very serious character. You got legs? We shoot legs.com. Oh no! Jesse Hayton, your kitty cat, has also gained another pound since her last visit, and she's supposed to be losing weight. I have two of my cats. I have three cats. Two of them. I swear to fucking god, I under uh, like underfeed them like just enough so they lose weight, and they still just don't ever seem to lose weight. I think they just steal the third cat's food, which I try to avoid that. Stealthy foxtrot. All right, ah, uh, it's behind me. It's that way. Where are we going? What? How do we get around this? The fuck is that up there? Is that a body? Are those bodies? A body? <laughs> Favorite toy is Lego. Favorite Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings here, just Legoless. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's. A Why are you aiming at the legs? It's all like an aim at. Why are you aiming at the lake? No, don't use the stem. Okay, what fucking gun do we have? Where does it? No, we don't. We never want the switchblade. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with these guns. I see. I have the rifle and the shotgun. Favorite it. How would you equip, like, okay, so let's say I want to use that one. Is that what we have equipped? No, that's not what we have equipped. I don't know how to equip anything. Oh, the fucking no! 
Please. Good lord. All right, so aiming isn't too bad. Oh, we had a fuse. Some right ran away. I could probably use that. Um. Yeah, I need to. I need to figure out how to equip the weapon you actually want to have equipped. Because that is that is kind of confusing me. Um, Miranda Satin also saying hi on here. She only goes the final leg of tours. Oh, grenade is either R1 or RB. Got to get them Twitch views up. Yes, please. Thank you. She's definitely too smart for her own good. Always knows where to get some extra kibbles. The robot is worried about losing his job to human labor. Oh, that is adorable. Uh, I'll be his Xbox controller. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, I'm going completely the wrong way. Good lord. Dandy Denny, you try to bounce back and forth with varying success. Don't feel obligated. I was saying, like, we're streaming on both platforms so that you can pick which platform is your preferred one. Don't feel obligated. Captain Caffeine! Hello, hello, welcome in! Welcome to America! Uh, so I'm guessing when you go into vats, they are red if they're an enemy. Well, this guy doesn't seem to be... The responders are here to keep you... Doesn't seem to be an enemy. Citizen. Citizen, do not be alarmed. The responders are here to help. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm all out of water. Looting ain't easy when you have to force your way in. <sighs> I could really use some bobby pins. I have some. Um, I need to go. Good luck looting. How should we play this? Should we play this like self-interested? Should we play it sneaky? Should we play it naive? Like how, how should we play this? I kind of am leaning towards what's in it for me. Um, mostly you're trying to see both chats from your kitchen, Dandy Danny. Let's go with. Look, isn't it for me? I'm not unreasonable. You'll get your slice of the pie. Don't worry about that. What kind of what kind of pie? As many as I can get my hands on. What do you have on you? Why do you ask? Um. Oh, so we only have is one or twenty, and we don't have twenty. So all right, you can have one. Doesn't seem like much, but it's. Never broken on me because I've never used it, but here you go. Can't be choosers. Sometimes one is all it takes. Oh shit, Albert, I just saw your your comment. Be a nice person, but don't give up Bobby Pins. Um Did you get into it then? I thought you were gonna Looks like there's almost two hundred dollars in here though. I guess it'll make good kindling. Alright, give me my share, which is two hundred. What is this? A desk fan. Who carries around a desk fan? You're not gonna give me anything. Now that the world has gone to shit, the rich. Fuck you, then. Oh, I should shoot this person. Rich. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll. All Can we shoot them? Let's find out. Oh! Oh no! 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 This has gone horribly wrong. Shoot! Shoot! Or do something different. Okay, I. I'm not sure what happened because I was figuring out I was out of ammo. Who shot her? Did I shoot her? Someone else shot her. 
the the robot, the protect pro protectron. Oh, she got some shotgun shells. Nice. Uh, can I have my bobby pin back? It requires skill zero. Your skill zero. Awesome. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Um. I forget how this works. Nope, nope, how do we... Oh, the bobby's been broke, okay. Hey! Duct tape and a combination wrench! Ooh! Really don't want the switch played to how do we Okay, so pressing X seems to actually select the gun. So is it the last two guns that you held, the last two weapons that you held are the two it'll... No, there's the switchblade again! I don't fucking want the switchblade! Why do you keep giving me the switchblade? The switchblade is useless to me! I'm gonna get myself stabbed! Someone's just gonna take it off me. Stab me with it. Um... Miranda mm, Satney mm, mm. just started Fallout 4 for the first time, and I'm honestly just asking whatever I actually want to know, which is mostly more questions. Tell me everything! Ooh. Uh, can we jump in this? How do we... No, none of that was jump. Is there a jump button? Ah, oh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Hayton, Rand Satin. Thanks for, thankfully, I'm the only one in this waiting room since I forgot to bring my AirPods. <laughs> Favorite animal is Daddy Long Legs. Probably a leg stab. You snooze, you lose out on bobby pins. <laughs> she did it, boys. She's a wastelander now. Doc, you gotta go. All right. See you. See you next time. I'll see you later. See you soon. One of those options. Pick whichever one you will. Thank you for being here. Alpine River Cabin. I'm still going the wrong goddamn way. Have I no sense of direction? What is going on? Triangle is jump. Thank you, Gustavo. Triangle. We're just going to jump constantly now. Uh, last week, our vet was having an absolutely bonkers day. What was supposed to be a quick drop off. And we'll be back in three hours. We were there. We were there for three hours. What? What was that? Ah! What? The fuck are you? Ah! No! Okay, let's just... I don't even want to know what that thing is. No, leave me alone! <laughs> just want to figure out how to get to this mission. We're going the right way. Okay. Maybe if we head back down towards the road and kind of stop being off the path, because there's another one. Let's just run. Let's just run out of here. Let's just go. They're not a very good shot, which is... Ugh, good. They had, oh, an abandoned dog. A dog was hurt at their groomers. They were taking care of her. And another dog walked in the front door and wandered around. No one could... I like the, I like the way you phrased that. Like, the dog just walked in and just wandered around. Uh, no one could figure out... Oh, wait, he did? He did? No one could figure out where he came from? He just <gasps> brought himself in. Oi, first responder, protect a person. Have at it. Thank you, please. 
You're just shooting a rock, bro. Oh god, every- oh no. Glowing fungus. Awesome. Yeah, what is this? The Wixen Homestead. So glad that all of these fences have holes in them. I remember playing... I bet we're going up there. I remember playing Fallout New Vegas and the, one of the things that pissed me off the most was the, the the shitty map design. I was constantly like, I just wanted to go over there and there's like a fucking ridge or, or cliff or something in the way that the character would, would not climb but would like make you think that maybe he could. And we would just spend forever going around something. It was infuriating. Ah, uh, Captain Kevin, grabbing some lunch. I need to get some work done. All right, well, thank you for stopping in. Appreciate it. Yeah, the perfect storm, that sounds like. Perfect storm of um, just shit that honestly really does need to be prioritized, but... Oh, it's that guy again. Self-made Kevin. But yeah, sucks. Sucks that you had to wait there for three hours. And it's like a shame they couldn't just, like, take take your dog and like keep him in like a holding area or whatever what was that noise <gasps> what is going on <laughs> those fucking mole rats or something mole rat mole rat me what the f what? let's do some jumping again Right, we're back on the right path. I got I don't know how we managed to get so turned around. I kept getting turned around. Oh, hello. Hey, we found the bar. Oh, look, two-headed cow things. Oh, ammunition vending machine. Oh, it costs money. All right, now like that. I don't need to. I don't need to buy things. I can probably just like loot them off of people. Um, only you and your teammates can be in this interior, friends, and strangers can't join you. That's fine. Yeah, Kevin, it is it, very, very beautifully designed. It does have a kind of a Days Gone vibe with, like, the cool lighting. At least put my gun away. Calm down. Uh, <laughs> leg me introduce myself. <laughs> Daddy didn't just leg, leg, leg. They had several emergencies in their appointment room. In, oh, in all of their appointment room. Oh, so you did just have to wait. Shit. Like, well, you could just reschedule your appointment, I'm sure was one of the things they offered. Steal the ashtray. I don't even smoke. Dish rag. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick because pointing a gun at me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Look around. You think I'm having my people piece this place together out of mobile homes because I'm thrifty? Do I look like I know where this treasure is? Shut up! You got 10 seconds to tell me where Crane is. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey, who the hell are you? I don't actually know. Um... Me, I'm the person distracting you so the guy hiding back there can blow your brains out. Hey, guy, a little help? Which guy? Which guy where? Which, which guy hiding? Or is that just a ruse? Uh, we can also say, why don't you put the gun down, friend? You're outnumbered. Let's talk. I'm no gun expert, but is there supposed to be something stuck in the barrel like that? 
or whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Um, you did say, who was it who said, play it kind of nice. So maybe we'll go with, why don't you put the gun down, friend? You're outnumbered. Let's talk. Also, I'm less likely to get shot. Um, male voice is from the other games. Oh, wait, Marcus Horton? Is Marcus Horton here? Did you just pop in? I didn't see you. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. See? Oh, there you are! Marcus Horton 77. Hello! Yeah, how is the little one? Maybe he's good growing like crazy. How old? How old is he now? Uh, and let's go with... Why don't you put the gun down, friend? You're outnumbered. Let's talk. Outnumbered? I... Shit. Fine. But don't think this is the end. Only for you, honey. No one pulls a gun on me in my bar. Mort! Get out here! Yeah, what? Oh, that guy. Jesus! You let one of those monsters in here? Hey! You want to see if there's a tomorrow? Then I want you to tell me where you and the rest of your numbskull... Put your arms down. Out. Go. Wait, I'm... What? Mort, what was that? He called me a monster. All right, what? He was gonna kill us. I... You know, we could have asked him some questions. Oh, <laughs> Looks like he's got a leg up on you. This way anyway. I suppose. Oh, he's only three and a half weeks. Oh, now, still tiny. You're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Yeah, I just came in because this is my first mission. Um, hello. Uh, I would like to interact oh, with you. Well, not exactly the Hello, introduction to character. The I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Sure. Um, what was that about? He said something about a treasure. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He's a liar. In here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fella named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Um, <laughs> do you need help dealing with these thugs? I'm not exactly one to offer help. Oh, what can you tell me about the area? A hell of a lot. We only just got back here ourselves. A hundred years ago, before the bombs, this was a popular little highway between two of Appalachia's biggest cities, Morgantown up north. And Charleston to the south. We set up here hoping it might relive that fate, but so far all we've gotten is trouble. Uh, you looking to help dealing with those thugs? I'll let you mention it. I could use an extra pair of hands. Oh, kind of obligated to ask that one. That boy, we put down. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Well, first things first. How much you paying? Fifty caps if you can get the job done. Mm, yeah, I was just gonna say, make it a hundred and we got a deal. Seventy-five's as high as I'll go. And for that kind of money, I expect to never hear from those boys again. Now, does that mean you're on the case? Mm, I'd like to hit this plan first. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now. Yes, it is set in Appalachia, which they pronounce this game as Appalachia for some reason. Unless my pronunciation is off. ...of a bunch of single-minded thugs. Oh no. <laughs> you want me to pretend to be Crane, don't you? Or we could say, oh, Salisbury Steak, that always got people running in the vault. Uh, my time's precious, just say what you want. Uh, I don't know, a sign? I think we could also, if we had better charisma, mail invitations maybe? That's what my mom did for my birthday parties, though I guess no one came to those either. Aw. Uh, yeah, you want me to pretend to be Crane, don't you? Aren't you a smart cookie? Oh, it is pronounced Appalachia I know just how to do it. in the region of. 
For real. Appalachia. Huh. Didn't know that. I always thought it was Appalachia. Okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher God. the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Oh, yeah, I know how to build structures from schematics. How did you know I was from a vault? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, Good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, <laughs> you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Oh, okay, I thought it was like, just gonna tell me what to do, but apparently I've, I've selected that I already know. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Um, not yet. Understood. Take care of what you need to and come see me. Okay, what the? First things first. What? Check in with Duchess first, then we can chat. You just told me to come talk to you to watch the tapes. Alright, fine. What else? Um. Ooh. Oh, it's the restrooms. Lovely. I'm just picking shit up off the bathroom floor there's something else what was that what is this charleston herald oh is that the toilet paper oh look we can actually take this toilet paper uh fuck it let's take the mop i have no idea all right let's go upstairs marcus uh says so baby boy is sleeping in the swing Two-year-old is asleep on the couch. Mama is asleep in the bed. And I just woke up from a nap in the recliner. It's a good afternoon before work. Nice. Nah, yeah, nap time is good times. Especially when it's babies that are doing the napping. Uh, so we can't unlock that. So we need a key. Oh, we can rest on the bed. We can steal the pillow. Yeah. God damn, I don't like the way it keeps flickering. Jeremy Maggie! Hello, hello! Welcome in. Can we loot this guy? Doing the weird thing again. I was wondering when you might be back to put an end to these boys' misbehavior once and for all. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Apparently, I have no idea what we're doing, but sure. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one over mm. Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point, but it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. 
probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. Uh, yeah, I, yes. No fucking idea what's going on, but yes. Um, this lady's dressed like a totally normal person, not a post-apocalyptic wasteland. For a second there, I really like the way she's dressed, by the way. I thought she had, like, chain mail on under her, her little vest and whatnot. Whatever you call that. Best, right? Um, but I think it's just like a sweater. But yeah, I actually, I kind of dig her outfit. Uh, let's see. Okay, so trade. Trade. Hello. Trade. Can we trade? No, we can just pull out a switchblade. All right. What, what are we doing? Have a look. Speak to Mort about building your cat. Okay, so, all right. Hi, hello. Now, will you tell me the thing we need to know? vault actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, don't you worry that... Yeah, she's got, got like, biker bar kind of vibe. ...company now, because around here, we look at... Jebe, you getting off work to go pick up your mother-in-law from your sister-in-law? And, uh, yeah, I don't know, the... The fashion in the games is kind of interesting because it is, you do have like a lot of like post apocalyptic -y stuff. But there's also, from what I understand, some of the people are kind of not, I guess it is post apocalyptic, but it's like the world didn't completely get destroyed, kind of life continued on. And uh, yeah, so you have these like weird, different aesthetics to people. Uh, poke his nose hole. I don't think he would appreciate that. Can I ask what happened to you? Allergies. Learn the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke. Truth that's is, that's funny. I was outside on Doomsday. Now you see, I drove security and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble and it quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind. And it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back, and then bang, I wake up, man. And it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools. Not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. That is quite the story. Scotty Oates! Me, Patella, me, Vault 76 style! Oh, and I have... Wait, hang on. I have the opportunity to like this. I do, that's new! And I can heart it. Oh, YouTube has just unrolled some new things where I can click buttons and I can... Like, you didn't know I was going to like that until I hit the like button. <laughs> no, it says no. Please poke his nose hole. Can we actually... Is that a thing? I can do the boop. How do we do it? That way? Oop. Um, so I have a question that's persisted with the ghouls. So they, they are subject to the radiation. And it's turned them into this. The, the bombs were dropped 100 years ago? So how is he still alive? They're sort of immortal in some way. And I don't, un that's the bit I don't understand about them. What is it like being a ghoul? What's that? One is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. He's got a very positive so, outlook for what happened. You're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saying. Not sure how it happens. Why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turn, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Seriously? Seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul, mixed bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. <laughs> I like this guy. He's weird, but I like it. Um, there we go. Can you can teach me about using my camp, which we still don't know what it, what it stands for? Yes, please. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact 
right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. You want someone dead? Just give me a name. I don't feel badass enough to pull that off. Um, his <laughs> very positive outlook. Uh, can't say I've ever wanted to poke the ghoul's nose hole, says Scotty. The mutation is like a regeneration from what I've gathered. Ah, yeah. Isn't there something about that in, in um, New Vegas? Something about how it they, they can't die because they heal too quickly or something, but they don't heal for... Uh, well, whatever. Radiation can be unpredictable. Yes, Nomad. We'll go with that one. Um, at least he's winning friends with his radiant personality. Uh, most schools that aren't feral tend to just be getting along. Some tend to run a scam, but most mean well. Um, I imagine it sucks being addicted to whatever is in that inhaler. They don't break down over time. Right, okay. Lisa, I got this plan. You're going to help me get rich. See. Am I? Folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. These tapes you recorded with the voice you're speaking in right now? Yeah, we'll listen to them. Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Um, no, nothing at the moment. Another time then. Frank Desenzo played for two hours yesterday and never seen that dude. Wait, this game? You 100% Scotty don't remember this guy? Now, I know that this is... Um, this mission, I think, was, like, added in after the release of the game. Or it was, like, a side mission, and now it's the main first mission. But this is literally the first mission. And we have to go talk to her. I mean, I guess you don't have to talk to this guy. Because she said, talk to him if you don't know how to set up your camp. And I'm like, I don't know how to set up my camp. Oh, you're talking about Fallout 4. Okay. Yeah, no, this is 76. Cash register. Cha-ching. Rat poison? Ew, no. You got to level 53, but I also waited a year or two to play. Good question, Frank. I, I personally don't know. Um, I've only played a f literal few minutes of 4. I have seen Sponicus Rex play it. He is a big nerd for Fallout 4. Um, that's the reason why I'm not playing that, because it's kind of like his thing. He knows a lot about it. And kind of why I'm playing this, because he doesn't know this one. And I just, I don't know. I don't want to It's hard to describe, but it's like I don't want to, like, have to... It's nice to have other people give you info that you need and answer questions and give you guidance. Sometimes, especially I found with Fallout, the people who are, like, really into it give you too much information. And it's it's very overwhelming. Um, so it's like a, a delicate balance? I don't know. It's weird. It's like I don't want to sound ungrateful because I'm not ungrateful to people who share knowledge like a, that's what we just the fucking robots colored like a cow look at it painted like a cow um i absolutely am grateful to everyone who gives advice and info and and context and all of that um but it's sometimes it's overwhelming i don't know how else to put it uh let's see um humans and ghouls were added later in the game this one that's weird what was in it then just Creatures? Um, I'm excited for the updates for three New Vegas and four. Oh, I didn't know they were going to update them. This game is free this month on Amazon Prime Gaming. Is it really? 
I have it on PlayStation Plus, I think. And Webster Ross, hello, hello, welcome in. I have been watching the Fallout show and I absolutely fucking love it. I haven't finished it yet, so no spoilers. Craft a piece of armor. Okay, it's telling me to go over here. Oh, look, there's like a little workbench thing. Open your pit, boy. Press L1 once you're in the wilderness to build or relocate your camp. Um. Okay, craft a piece of armor. All right, let's do it. What, what are we crafting? Light armor. Um. I believe we have all of this, but cool. Let's do a, let's do a chest piece. Um. Okay, requires cloth 30-3-5. So 30 is the number I have, and it requires 9 or whatever. Shit, yeah, let's do level 20. Okay, cool. Yay. Stop hammering now, please. Oh, look. We're wearing armor. Um, girded, pocketed leather chest piece. All right, let's craft a weapon. Oh, you're watching it with your dad, Webster? How does your dad like it? Is he a gamer? Is he into... Is he into the games at all? Uh, throwing knife. Ooh, pipe guns. Pipe revolver, syringer, pipe pistol, or pipe bolt action pistol. Pinched melee what machete. Ooh, oh. What melee weapons? We can make a board, piece of wood. Um, let's... Fuck it, let's make a machete. Oh, we need... Yeah, we can make that. Oh, wait, level... Can't make level 20. We don't have enough leather. Make a level 5 machete. That kind of seems pointless, making a level 5 when we are... Well, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, let's make it. We now have a machete! Repairs are made at the weapons workbench. Switch to the modifications menu with square to make repairs and mods. Nylon girl, hello! Welcome in, happy Friday! Um, mm, mm, yes, the game is online, but we're not playing PvP. It's completely, completely turned off. Um, you're episode six. Oh, I just watched episode six last night. So I only have seven and eight left. He loves it, but he doesn't play the games. Um, you can play this after work, Frank. Excellent. Yeah, and you can play kind of like co-op or whatever with this game. Um, I think Rex and I are probably going to give that a shot. All right, so we've got... Oh, no, I don't want to do that mission. That sounds scary. Um, This is the key that we picked up. I kind of don't really want to roam too far yet. I feel like there's so much I don't know about this game. Um, mm, mm, so blue means we've been there, I'm assuming. That's kind of cool. Um, I, I don't know. We've, we've got to set up our camp. I'm, I'm a bit sort of scared to commit. I suppose. I also really want to know how to, how to do the weapons thing. Um.
Okay, we'll just select all of those. Okay, cool. Scotty, you're doing well. You're enjoying this Friday. Um, the level restrictions on guns and armor. I don't think it was a level restriction. It was just the... I didn't have enough materials. That was the only thing. Well, unless it wasn't even showing me things I could build above my level. What is this? Oh, this is self-made Kevin's camp. Oh, are we supposed to just put our camp in the middle of the... middle of the road? I don't know what the camp is. Oh, he said to listen to the things. He said that the, Mort, the ghoul, said listen to... Listen to the tapes that he gave us? How do we do that? Does anyone know? Oh, oh, there it is. Listen to Overseer's camp. No, Overseer's log of the camp. No, we don't want that. Um... Ah, the fuck? That just gave me plans for a sign to build at my camp in order to draw in the thugs that have been bothering the wayward. First, though, I need to read the schematics I've got in my pack. How do we do that? How the fuck do you get to your pack? Is that in the pit boy? Oh, oh, hang on. Hey, here we go, here we go. God, that was way more complicated than it needed to be. Um, we also have the overseer's log. Okay, we'll get to those. All right, Mort's edutate number one, placing your camp. Let's do that, please. Son of a... What tiny fist that a rat built? Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. The thing is on. Hello? <clears throat> Hello. This is Mort McCoy. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today we're talking Headmaster about Mort. camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Oh, crap. Where did that... Oh, here we go. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment <clears throat> Details, damn, I had to get that one wrong. And I for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry. Intuitive? Is it going to be as intuitive as the Pit Boy, which is not very? Master Mort's edutapes. So long. Get your chops. Come on, Mort, what, what, what was that? Oh, so we can actually exit out the pit boy and still move around while we're listening. Um, okay, so it's telling me, consider where you put your camp. This is what I hate about these games. It's like, well, I don't know. Where the fuck should I put it? Like, what is it used for? I don't fucking know yet. Um, found some... You found... <laughs> I've, I haven't read that twice. I was like, you found some fake pee? What the fuck? I know what you're talking about. See, so you're able to smoke again. You're happy as fuck right now. <laughs> nice. You're going to have a good weekend. Um, Scotty has occasionally enjoyed going back to 76 and giving new people stuff to help them along their way. Aww. When I played it, it had level restrictions. I have a full suit of power armor as a reward for, for a mission. And it was level 45 and you were level 12 at the time, so you couldn't wear it. That blows. Um, I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to build a camp so that we can listen to the overseers. Follow tape. 
And we also need to build a camp so we can make the sign. I don't know. Like, it made it sound like you have to build it in a very specific spot. And I'm like, I don't know where it's safe. Are there limitations? Are they... I, I'm kind of scared to commit, you know? Um, I feel like this area is pretty safe so far. Um, there's cows here. We could go build it near the cows. What is that? What is that noise? What's that robot thing? Uh, let's, I guess let's just build it over here by these trees. It's kind of, kind of a pretty location. Oh, am I going to get radiation poisoning here? Jump! Yeah, let's... This is a nice little clearing. Or is this a road? Fuck it. Let's build it here. All right. Um... What was it? L1. Uh... Jump. Yes. Let's build it there. And now we're building stuff. Oh, good lord. Okay, hang on. We need to... <laughs> We need to exit out of this. How do we exit? And let's listen to Mort's tape number two. Hello, dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's Edutainment. Scott, you haven't played it in over a year, so you, I would be like a fish out of water. Don't think it really matters. You pick it up and move it from what I remember. Okay, build it on the road, says Dandy Danny. Is that soda? Soda's red, right? right? Wait, oh. <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three... Oh, so this is for actually, like, building... A base. Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! If I find out with you, you're gonna bleed on... Whatever. Just finish. Mm. See, look, we can build, like, materials, loot the stick and stuff. Yard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's edutainment. Build doors. What the You're fuck? We can build a roof. Solomon, so help me this better be Crafting is this. Alright, defenses, generators. Oh my god, so you can actually build like a full on. I <laughs> like the water's like a water cooler. You can build a full on base with chicken coops and shit. I wish I knew why. Um, whoa, what the, what the? What the fuck is this? I think a lot of the stuff we don't have the materials for wall decor. Um, I don't know, we just wanted to, well, how do we exit? I wanted to build a... We're gonna make a sign. How do we make the sign? Is that Jay from Jay and Silent Bob? I don't think so. Uh, Spornicus Rex popping in on my break. How are we doing? We've, we've just got to the point where I'm like very confused. Um, we have a, sorry, I didn't mean to blow into the mic. Uh, we have a mission that we're supposed to set up our camp so we can build. Um, didn't she say she gave us blueprints? So we can build a sign, but I have no... Ah, hold options to open the workshop menu. Well, no, that's the same thing. If anyone knows, please tell me, because I have no fucking idea. There's like two things we're supposed to be doing here. You must build walls before decorating them. Lexi Price! Hello! Uh, did they change the pit boy I, I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. Um. Okay, hang on. Let's go. 
So it says, listen to the overseer's log. At camp. Um. Okay, I would hear. Transfer? Um, this. No, this is what we have. Am I supposed to do it in the... Oh no, what did I just do? Oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's just a tape we watch. Okay. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? And no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. Just add planning. Your camp, everything you've built Knock on your neighbor's door. Can I borrow a cup of planning, please? Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's okay, still cool. standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Alright, Flatwoods. Uh, we... I don't see that on the map. Alright, so, um... How do I... Pick this up now? Do I just leave this here? I feel like I fucked up. Um... Shit. Let's listen to this one. Log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Yeah, you got to go find Alpha Bravo and Charlie. We found that out already. We hacked your computer. It's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Oh no, 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 no. That's the wrong button. Um, can someone please tell me how to stop pulling out the fucking knife? I don't want the knife. How do we stop it? I just want guns. Everything else can fuck off. And the machete is fine, like, whatever. But, like, I've favorited these. How do we get these to be the ones that we cycle through? Is it like the last two or three that you select? Or something? Is that how it works? Yeah, that must be how it works. God, that is frustrating. That is so frustrating. Um, Jump. 
I don't think anyone's here. This is just random. Uh, okay, so does anyone... <laughs> does anyone know how I pick up my camp for now? Or do I just abandon it? Don't know if it's important or not. Or if it can be stolen. I, I'm guessing it can't be. But man, that's going to irritate me that I set this thing up and we don't need to leave it here. Jeez, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's look. No, the knife is not favorited. It's, it's been removed, trust me. It has been removed from favorites. What the fuck is this? Camp one. What the? F is that me? That must be me. Ah, such for traces of the overseer and flatwoods. Okay, so it's kind of the way we're facing. It must be this way. Did we loot? It became day. It became nighttime. Oh, the clock's twelve hour. So it said seven twenty-five, and was like, oh. It's the morning, but no. The things get scarier at night. Oh. That's weird. Um, do we need to be more cautious at night? It's safe. The only thing is if you get far enough along and building stuff, people can steal, but it'll alert you. I think they actually did away with that. That's something that I'd read was that or something that it was like you could have all your shit stolen really easily. Uh, Rex was telling me, like, apparently when you were not even online, people would come and steal your shit. Um, I tried Transfer Nylon Girl, but that was just to transfer stuff out of it. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to look. There's a lot. Like, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, fuck, how do we do this? How do we do that? What is this? I wish it would tell you a little more clearly and a little less in character for the world. Like, just fucking tell me. Just fucking tell me. It's a video game. So much to teach. Um, hi? We're building something big here. Don't get left behind. Okay. Jump. 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 Uh, it's like the only thing is if you get far enough along, read that one, only psychological at night. What happened to this guy? Okay, green is... we don't have to kill him, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, no, now they're red! Oh, hang on! Torso! Torso! Oh god. Oh, fuck this. No, don't crouch. Don't crouch! There's another one on my right, isn't there? Hmm. Mongrel dog meat. Why do we press square for nearby corpses? All nib. Oh! We can just pick up everything. Oh, that is clever. So you don't have to loot each corpse individually? That is actually really cool. I like that. Uh, camp spawn and despawn a lot when I played forever ago. I dislike the Brotherhood. The problem is they're always an option. And others are usually not throughout the games. I love how the vets. Um. Hang on, I've got my. I hate that the, the on YouTube the um the text gets covered up. I love how the vats are. Wait, the vats don't stop time moving. I think that's what you're saying. Um, so, because this is like a 
online multiplayer type game, you can't slow down time, which I, I ooh, I prefer speed out slow down time. Like, give me focus mode. Um, all right, we've got mole rats. Can you sneak? Oh, no, I was going to say, can you sneak up on things like this? But no. Oh, where's it going? Shoot! I told you to shoot! Oh, we're out of ammo. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Whoa. Damn it, we're out of ammo now again. No! Get him, stab him with something. Whatever we're, whatever we're holding. God damn. Oh, I keep pressing circle to exit out of that. And we don't need to. How they aren't like in other games. I haven't put enough into sneak yet. I haven't put anything into anything. No, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. But I have no idea what I'm doing. See, now it's just got these two guns again. Do I not have any ammo or something? Is that what it is? Don't even know. What the fuck was that? Maybe I just don't have any ammo. Maybe that's why he keeps pulling these out. What was that noise? Hello? I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Ooh. Stop it! Alright, fuck it, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go full on machete. What's that over there? Oh, no, 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 don't activate the radio. No, 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 no radio. No. Uh, gym session notes? What the fuck? Ah, arm day. Three sets of 12 reps. Dumbbell bicep curls, tricep extensions, and back extensions, yeah. <gasps> Dandy Danny, you gotta go? All right, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hello, Bobber. Chin up. Only eight more luxury coffins to make quota in backwoods. Uh, or in flatwoods. <laughs> uh, be difficult, given the uh, financial situation around here. Just need to remind them of our friends the Chinese. Uh, I'll be back on the plane to Ipswich within a fortnight. <sighs> Gather it'll be the bench press today. Yeah, again. Okay, someone was saying something. Oh, hi. Hi, hello. Our nation might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. Yes, I fully understand the context of that. I'm gonna go into your room and like steal your shit. I'll leave the toy truck though. Baby rattle. All right, never mind. Oh shit, what is that up there? Whoa! Uh oh. What? What? Oh, it's a cow. I'm so scared. Like, what's coming up on me? So I think we're in the right place. I actually have figured out that the reason why I kept switching guns was because I have no ammo. So we need to figure out how to get ammo. 
gave me something. Some way just reload though. Um I guess we don't have we don't have anything. We have ammo for something else. Oh I'm stealing medical supplies from a hospital. Hello. I'll take your free war money. While you're here, why not grab a stem back or two? Sure. That overseer lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. Got this guy. Um, okay, I would like to purchase uh ammo or something from you how do i see what you have it sure is great to see living human beings again okay so the bot has a bunch of ammo here um which cost cost caps but we could i guess Trade for stuff, maybe? That oh, I don't know how to do... Do we sell the things first? I don't remember. Um... Okay. Uh, 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 Albert says, after playing for two-ish hours, how does the game feel compared to the show, even though they are pretty different form of entertainment? This, um, it definitely has the same sense of humor, which I really like. Uh, this stuff, I get overwhelmed with this stuff, with the, the junk menu RPG. Like, I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Um, and I, I hate games that make you play for a thousand hours before you even start to understand how the systems work. Um, but that said, I want to enjoy this game. I want to enjoy this game so I can figure this shit out. Again. It's just taking me a while. I guess sell? Sure, let's sell that for... Do we just sell everything first? Can we select multiple? Um, I don't know. I don't know how to how to sell everything. It's it's a little bit frustrating when you're trying to figure this out on stream as well. Um, loot, sell, repeat is the game when it comes to vendors. I do remember that from... From New Vegas, but I remember there was like a part of like you put your stuff on the counter and then you tell them what you want and you can kind of like part trade, part sell, part buy. And I'm not seeing that system here unless I'm being blind. Purblind Gamer! Hello, welcome in! Have you played this game and can you help me? Alright, so let's sell. Let's sell our beer bottles. Let's see, okay, so sell seven, sure. Clipboard, I don't, I don't think we need that. Ashtrays, cool. If you need supplies, How do we shut this guy up? Is it Jason Statham? Uh, wrench, sure. Um, I just don't know what we're going to do with any of this. It seems... Seems kind of... Um, clunky. Uh, Alright, this, this looks like an important thing. Cures all addictions, increases thirst, and increases hunger. It doesn't sound like something I'm going to use, but we never know. Uh, oh, actually, let's... Hang on, we can go through... We can sell our party hat. Food and drink, we can... Ooh, shit, we can... It's a whole bunch of shit we can sell. Aid, we'll keep those. With smart Junk! Here we go, junk! Where's sell all? Fine, out there. Oh. Ooh. It's like adhesive. Are we going to need adhesive? Do we maybe need that for building? I don't know. Maybe. Um, but I don't know. Oh, that counts as cloth. Oh, and it ceramic, steel, and copper. I get it. So these are things we will need again. for building. Oh. Okay.
Oh, so maybe we do want to keep all of these? While you're over here, why not grab a stem back or two? See, I want to buy some ammo. Now, so I have 183 credits. Or uh, caps. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's trading options here. Stickman! Hello! Hello, welcome in. Um... Bubbleline says, I'm alright at work. Uh, but work is fairly chill today. If you haven't played it, but you know the Fallout series is a huge time commitment. Yes, I'm definitely... We may be playing this again next week. I am definitely going to put in a whole bunch of hours figuring the shit out. So next week we can kind of come in a little bit more ahead of the game. A little bit like... With knowing what the fuck we're doing and less of me going uh i don't know and asking you guys for help stickman you're psyched to see this game have you played it can you help me junkies for building houses and beds all right so we're not gonna we'll we'll figure it out i'll just i've got a machete have machete we'll travel Ooh, what's in here overseer's log town of flatwood there was some there's some ammo in there. No one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green glowing lesions and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. On what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. That's pretty ominous. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food. Survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. Okay, we just volunteered for something. Even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the overseer signing off. Okay, cool. We got a hatchet. Hey, that's a good backup. That's a good backup. Um, let's see. So, Stickman, you have 200, 250 hours in Fallout 3, but no other Fallout games. Uh, Scotty says, I feel like it's insane how Helldivers 2 had an order for yesterday to kill 2 billion bugs, and they gave everyone 6 days, and it was done in 13 hours. Like, collectively, all the players, presumably. Democracy is best done quick. I kind of wish I'd, I'd jumped on that game, like I was intrigued by it um and just didn't i didn't purchase it and now it's like i feel like everyone is playing it and uh i don't know is it still Ooh, what is that um is it still like playable as a noob i kind of i don't know i like i said earlier i get nervous about online games Ooh. Kitchen patrol. Still wants me to go into this room. Did we not do this already? Oh, do we have to read these? Oh, what's the what's the lady's name? Locate Kesha McDermott. There we go. Um, not songs. Hey kids, seventy sixing it. Hey, eh? are you familiar with this game? Have you played it? 
Uh, Scotty says, yes, ma'am, but I 100% recommend it. It's so much fun. A lot like this community, the more experienced people tend to take care of our new Helldivers. Had someone drop as a level zero, but I was immediately like, wrap them in bubble wrap, must protect the child. <laughs> that is nice. That is really nice. That Because I just, I worry about, you know, all I hear about online games is that people will just like fucking kill you and take all your shit. And it's like, how? I tried to play Fortnite one time. And I had no idea what I was doing. And then I just died and it takes like 10 minutes to get in a new game. I'm like, how am I supposed to get good at this? Um, mm, okay. Uh, so we last checked in, blah, blah, blah. Flatwoods River, housing assignment three, Church Road. No, it's of monitoring water safety protocols in Flatwoods conducting ongoing hydrology experiments. Okay, uh, search for Kesha along the ne nearby river. Copy that. I love that we now know what jump is. Thank you. For whoever it was who told me what jump is. Um, not so actually played it for quite a while when it first came out. Automated all responders. Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Uh -oh. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Well, seems like a fine idea. So, hi. First things first, I test a sample of water from the river when the and test a sample of water from Flatwoods water pumps. Okay. A statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. Exactly, Stickman. Don't play online multiplayer games. I don't care to get cussed out by 12-year-olds. Yes, exactly. Uh, you'll definitely get assholes, but the majority of people are on board with letting people just love the game. Oh, plus you got me if you need me on that front. Well, fuck yeah. I was to find fuck yeah. In Lexi, you might consider playing this now. I love playing 3, 4 in New Vegas. You're not much of an online gamer. That is what I was, I was... I would never have played this until I saw that they changed it so that you just don't have to play online. You, you see other people, but, like, you just don't interact with them at all. Well, not really. But not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the mm, contamination. We're gonna go to a lab. I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. How to properly boil water? Is it hard to properly boil water? Slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, Not so much one of the reasons you gave it up. You probably had four to five hundred hours into it. Build a stash box at your camp to store excess items. Place your camp by opening your pit boy and pressing L1. Yeah, we did that already. I love that. Analyze. Ooh, analyze water sample. Water has not significantly improved since the last sample from the same coordinates. Okay, so now we're supposed to boil water using dirty water and wood fuel. How do we do that then?
I love how the car kind of looks like the power armor face. Like, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We can use one of these camping stove thingies. Hello, I would like to do this now, please. Hello. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Boiled water. Challenge complete! Yay, we boiled water! Yay! How do, we, how do we exit? Oh. Exit, yes. I will say, so Scotty, people who have had mics have all been adults. Sometimes they sounded like children screaming and such. Well, you've heard me. You've heard my my squeaks and squeals. Um, but adults, nonetheless. And you stream on a schedule that would work for me. Ah. Yeah, we should talk, Scotty. We should, we should, Chloe's my pet. Or should maybe, maybe set something up. I'm not sure. Um, you got to consider these people never had a life outside of the vault. This is all new. Not so she did have fun with it, but uh, with co-oping with a couple buddies, we got kind of bored and moved on. All right, who is this chick? Are you chick? here for the responder training? Oh, uh, yeah. Responder training? That's right. They set up a radio signal that's been repeating for years now, calling people here to learn basic survival skills. Unfortunately, the responders are long gone now, but the training system is fully automated so you can still learn everything you need to. I'm surprised you didn't know that. You must be new around here. <laughs> little bit I'm from a vault. A little, little bit new. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? So you've heard of me. Um, you've got a good eye. What gave it away? Vault 76? Never heard of it. Why do you ask? Uh, let's go with you've got a good eye. What gave it away? Sounds a bit flirtatious. To be I like honest, it. you really don't have the look and feel of someone who spent their life out here in the wilds. The other people I've met from Vault 76 seemed a little more... How to put it? Uh, wide-eyed. Inexperienced. Uh, still figuring things out, you know? They oh yeah, that's me. Look Healthier, more well fed, and their skin's not so rough and calloused. Automated message. The forest watch detects all supervisors. Um, so Charisma 4, could you help me out? I could really use some supplies, or I need supplies and you're gonna give them to me now. Or mind if I ask you something, or see you later. Let's go with Could you help me out? Of course. I know how hard it can be out there. Oh Scotty, yes. Please do. Please do. Impact. You have my email address. Yeah, you can have these. Give yourself an injection when you're hurt, and they'll heal you right up. Oh shit, we got three stim packs. Nice. Um, so... Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Running will drain AP. Uh, tell me about yourself. Me? There's not much to tell, really. I came in with Paige and the rest, and stayed up at Foundation for a while. It was nice. But eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responder, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. That's your story and you're sticking to it? Uh, Nordstorm says once you get to where you can launch a nuke, well, what next? I suppose when you have ultimate power, like that. It's not... Not very, not really much you can do beyond that. It's kind of like billionaires. Like, they, what do they do when you're like, we just got money. I don't know why we just got money, but thank you. Um, yeah, like billionaires, trillionaires, like well, however fucking rich the, the top tier are. It's like, what do you do with your life? What do you do with your life? I really like the, um, was it was it Jeff Bezos's ex-wife? Forget her name. But isn't she, she has like oodles of fucking money and she does like these periodic, like massive donations, huge to like gajillions of charities. 
um, really making a difference, really philanthropic. But day to day, it's still got to be, it's got to be a struggle. I feel so hard for the billionaires. But like, what do you do when you have infinite money? North Song says they've changed it up a bunch since you last played. All right, uh, tell me about Foundation. It's up in the Savage Divide, which is what they call the mountains to the east. Doesn't sound like a place I want to go just yet. Settlers up there, though people always come and go, so it changes. Honestly, life is pretty good there. It's a community, and everybody does their part to help. In the Savage Divide, you have a commune. Tell me about Paige. He's the closest Foundation has to a leader, he? I guess. Page is a, isn't Paige a girl's name? Well, but he always seemed like a decent guy. Honest, reliable, cares about the people, that kind of stuff. What's his angle? Ah, uh, there's something else I'd like okay. to know. What is it? What's the with the responder outfit? I found it in one of the houses. It fits great, and it's really comfortable and pretty durable, too. I'd also be lying if I said it didn't have some sentimental value for me. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. What they stood for, helping people no matter what. That was really important. I, I don't, I'm not quite tracking with the story of this because it's full of do-gooders and I'm like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't the world, right? We're just, this is a bunch of naive people running around like, la-di-da, everything's fine. Uh, anything interesting you can tell me about this yeah, area, like about treasure? Around here that qualifies interesting, at least to me. The Agricultural Research Center is infested with feral ghouls and homicidal robots. But you can find some good scrap in there if you're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. Oh, shit. So, a lot of enemies. No problem. Ooh, Hi there. thanks. Um, mm, so, check in with the self-serve kiosk. All right. Survivors' guilt meetings are held every night in the funeral. Home. Oh my god, I love it. Um, check volunteer status. Hey, we got more money. You must complete one more experiment for the responders to become a full volunteer. Transferring course to your external hardware. Okay. Find. Delbert Winters in Flatwoods. We can also search for him in the people directory. Winters. Delbert. Morale officer! I prefer the... What, what was the phrase we used earlier? Morale enforcer? You will improve morale. You will be happy. You will be grateful to do your duty. I love it. Morale officer and chef. All right. Cool. Um, mm, mm, where? Where are we going? This way. Same page from Diamond City. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it said I'm like over encumbered or something. I should do something about that. Stop picking shit up. So the camp. And let's 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 figure this out. So the camp. Oh. Um, it's not letting me. Would we have to be out in the wilderness, maybe? Here we go. You sure you want to place your camp? Yeah. Transfer, so... Oh, look, I have rounds and I have ammo in my camp! Oh, yes! Yes, please, I want that. Wait, but I have ammo. What's with the new? Hang on. Where the fuck did I get all of this from? Do they not go in any of the guns that I have? I don't fucking know. Um, ba 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 ba. Hmm. 
Oh, look, we can put a jumpsuit on. Um... All right, let's do a junk. Store all junk. Cool. Yes. And then ammo. Ah, uh, take. Yes. I, I think I think that's it. I think we're good. Yeah, no junk. I want to see what this green shirt and combat boots outfit looks like. Oh, look at us. Oh, he looks quite dashing in this. This is quite... Oh. I say dashing, but still. Fits them well. For the most part. Uh, let's see the responder's paramedic jumpsuit. I do like a man in uniform. Looks pretty sharp. I think that one suits him a little better and it's a little less raggedy. Um, but do we want to stick with the classic? Oh, he was wearing the jumpsuit as well. You know, he looks good in the in the first responder thing. The responder's paramedic jumpsuit. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh-oh. Um, Reverend Delbert Winters. Oh, I didn't know he was a reverend. Uh, okay, still reverend stuff Delbert fast. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Nearby corpses. Ooh. Responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin, till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, the instructions for cooking basic ribeye steak. Get some meat from one of the local cows, toss it on the fire until it stops oozing. At first, I thought it was a mistake. The fuck? That we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. That was diary. Oh no. Ooh, April 15th, nightmares. Devoting myself to cooking for these survivors and running the book club and the nightly survivors' guilt meetings has been good for me. And I still come home at night and I think, why? I was ready. I was ready my whole life for this. What did I do wrong? Weird cows. It makes me glad to see the responders are taking in survivors so well. We need them. Lord knows we need to rebuild this land. I've been noticing a weird thing. Some of the animals are born different. Plus, I thought it was just a random fluke. Two-headed cow should go to the museum of fakery. But then it happened again. And again. He doesn't make mistakes like this. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, what does this do to your faith if you're religious? What does this do? Uh, just finish planting the community garden for next year. Figure I'll spend some time in the garden. Um, the garden patches behind my house for a bit. It brings me peace to work the land like this. Planting some seeds. Going to see what in the hoot they turn out to be. Don't look like any kind of seeds I know. Bless his creativity, right? So that was the oldest diary entry. I think. Wait. I don't know how, how far apart these... How far apart these entries are. Um, I need to write down my thoughts because I was losing faith. I am ashamed to admit it. I witnessed the wrath with my own eyes. The brightest of lights filled the sky and I thought... He had come for me and all those of the faith, but we remain. Why? Either he did not come or we were not good enough. I pray, I pray every moment I can. Nothing. I hear nothing. I used to hear something. I think. Did I? Hard to remember. So long ago. Holy shit. Oh, what was apology? I want to read apology as well. What was that one? I've sunk my entire life lately into these experiments and feeding these survivors. I've asked him if this is enough. 
if he will come for me now, silence is his punishment. I was in the war. I killed. I know I did these things, but I had to. They made me do it. I thought it was right, too. How can I apologize now? Oh, good God. Fucking... Ew! Ah, what is brain fungus? And why would we want to harvest it? Oh! Shiny Spidey 600! Is, every, is anyone excited for the Fallout movie? Are they making a movie? Um... Remember, clothing can help with certain skills, radiation, or armor. Yeah, I... Oh, I can't believe we just harvested some brain fungus. I don't... I don't even want to know. Um... I didn't see anything. Oh, wait, hang on. 15... That gives us additional carry weight. This doesn't give us anything. This doesn't seem... Nothing else seems to give us any... Um, additional anything apart from the the backpack gives us plus 15 carry weight unless I'm looking at it wrong it doesn't seem oh wait triangle hang on that's... oh no that's this oh oh you've reached level five disable pacifist mode game settings to enable player combat no thank you no thank you you have unopened perk packs would you like to open them sure Oh no, no no. Yes, let's just open them. Oh, we gotta see. <laughs> we gotta take a gum. Dad is washing. Oh wait, I didn't see it. What did it say? God damn it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, dead man sprinting. Sprint ten percent faster at increased AP cost when your health is below forty percent. Ah, you take thirty percent less radiation from eating or drinking. Forty percent chance to find extra meat from animal corpses. Rigorous combat training means automatic rifles do plus 10% damage. And the same one as before. Oh, do we have more? Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, right away removes 30% more radiation. That one sounds good. Nuka Cola drinks are now twice as beneficial. I don't know what they do. Um, pistols gain, yada yada. Players who revive. No, cannibal eating human ghouls, super mutant, scorched, or mole minor corpses restores health and hunger. I got a little too excited about that one. Uh, your chance to catch a disease from food is reduced. Your one-handed melee weapons added plus ten percent damage. That will be useful, seeing as we cannot seem to hold on to any uh, actual fucking ammo. Um, impacts and runaway will now work much more quickly. Was lo oh, that one, Scotty. This one is locked. Level twenty-one. But only some of them have to be, uh, have like a level. You uh, gain plus one lock picking skill, and the lock picking sweet spot is ten percent larger. Ah, uh, some has to do more, restore more lost health. Um, craft advanced armor mods. Chance of catching a disease from creatures is reduced. 30% less likely to catch a disease from the environment. Oh my god, there's so many diseases. Okay, um... It, it's this thing that we can do? Okay, so we currently have strength. Weights of all chems, including simpacks, are reduced. We can... We can equip this one. Your one-handed melee weapons now do plus 10. Now... Oh, not enough available points to equip a card. Oh god, no, 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 no. We were looking at that. Oh, good lord. Um... Oh, I see. So the top left, it has a number. For strength, we can only have a total of three. So we could either do like a two and a one or three ones, or a three. Exception, we have seven. <gasps> Look, here it is. That's now target's limbs. We actually don't want that because it was pretty terrible. Um, your rifles reload 30% faster. Oh, so, okay, I want to get rid of that. 
unequip. And then let's see, we can add in... Expert Commando? I assume these, these stack in some... Oh, God damn it. I assume they stack because we've got... Basic combat training means automatic rifles do plus 20% and then rigorous combat training means they do plus 10%. So is it now plus 30%? Presumably. Um, you gain increased benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. I really want to put the, uh, the cannibal one there. Um, I feel like the lead belly one seems like it would be appropriate. Because there's a good chance we're not going to be fully fed all the time. So, taking 30% less radiation might be good. Um, charisma. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and you gain 30% AP regen. We can put four, point, four points into this. Um... Okay, we don't have teammates, so these are all useless. The only one that's useful is Field Surgeon. But just to work more quickly? Nah, that's fine. Uh, Stimpax Restore, 45% more lost health. Yeah. And then Agility, we can... Each AGI point. That's plus three resistance to damage and energy. What? Action points regenerate. Okay, let's have a look. What else? <laughs> I love this dead man sprinting. Um, food and drink weights are reduced. Yeah, let's leave it as it is. And then for luck, uh, serendipity while below 30% health gain, a 45% chance to avoid damage. And a plus 40% chance to find extra ammo. Well, cool. We don't have anything else that we could replace those with, so... Cool. Oh, requires a level 50 character to unlock a new slot. What? Okay. Awesome. Cook a ribeye steak. Oh, no. Um, hi. Do I have to kill this thing? Oh. Well, I guess we should go with the short double barrel shotgun. One for one barrel for each head. We have ammo for it. We don't have any ammo. All right. Um, we have ammo for that. Bolt action rifle. Hunting rifle. We have we have ammo for that. I guess. Are we really gonna kill this thing? Oh, this is actually optional. <gasps> just like a band-aid, just rip it off and kill the thing. Sorry. It just stood there and looked at me. Remember, set up a trap for the you-know-whos and use holotapes to try to record, record their noises at night. Get a lot for the secret stash by the Brahmin, Bra Brahmin tubs behind the house. Got a bigger gun or more guns or both. 
Try to tame a wild dog or a giant rat. R.I.P. Perry. You sweet something. Um, secret stash by the Brahmin tubs behind the house. Hello. Um, house, tubs, Brahmin. Maybe. Secret stash. Hello, secret stash. Is that it? Oh, 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 that was something. Hey! Survivor story, Nurse Scott, Melon, and Whiskey. Responder Dasa gave me some supplies in exchange for my survivor story. So, hi. My name is Scott Shepard. Things are going all right. I was a nurse before the war, and I, I guess nothing much has changed. I just work for the responders now, and I don't get paid. I, the government is basically the same now as it was years ago. Wrecked. Disorganized. Cannot be trusted. My aim is Everyone off. Knows. You want to know why the war actually happened? Alien. I'm sorry, is this Copeland? Someone please help me! Hold on, hold on. You shush. We'll help you in a minute. Through on something, or is this on the right recording? Uh, go to the graveyard behind the church. The right mother's uh, grave. Stand on it. Walk directly across the river. Uh, halfway up the hill. Uh, there's a small clearing. My savings are in an old stump. A little bit off the right, I swear. Please, please, please. Don't leave me here, please. I'm begging you, please! Where was that coming from? Was that on the recording that we were listening to? I'm, I'm very confused. Um... Hang on, how do we listen to it? Responders, plea. So we were listening to Nurse Scott. Responder Dasa gave me some supplies in exchange for my survivor story. So, hi. My name is Scott Shepard. Things are going all right. I was a nurse before the war. And I... Yeah, no time for love, Dr. Jones. You need to cook up some mole rat. Hello, Silent DMV. Hey. The government is basically the same now as it was years ago. Wrecked. Disorganized. Cannot be trusted. Everyone Don't knows. believe the lies. You want to know why the war actually happened? Aliens. You think I'm joking? Listen. Now right before everything went to hell, I saw him. I was grilling hamburgers out in the yard with my dog, and I heard rustling and a zapping noise. Next thing I know, I'm lightheaded and I felt myself fall into the ground. And I didn't even have a lot to drink. I woke up and I saw some little thing run into the bushes with my dog following it. And I knew something was wrong. Radio Free I Wasteland. I love it. Brandon Young, hello, welcome in. Green, like moss or something. The bomb uh -oh. fell. Ten days later, nine days, 19 hours to be exact. That's 235 hours precisely. You know what that is, right? That's right. The atomic number of the fissile isotope of uranium. They had a plan from the very beginning. Why would they come after me first? Scott Shepard, the nurse. Well, good question. I'm glad you asked. They have our blood. They knew which ones of us would support. We call it the Great War now. 
Oh no, I accidentally picked up a thing. Ah, that's what happened. I picked. I must have picked something up that then started playing. Um, so it said to go to the graveyard and stand on the. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. Rightmost grave. So it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. And what was the river? Alacha from the rubble, while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Ah, uh, responders plea. Here we go. Let's listen to this. No! <laughs> Wish we could just like Please, read it. Can we just read it? Listening. Uh, uh, go to the graveyard behind the church. Yep. The rightmost uh, grave. Stand on it. Walk directly across the river. Uh, sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Halfway up the hill. Uh, there's a small clearing. This one? My savings are in an old stump. A little bit off the right, I swear. A little bit off to the right. Get up. Uh oh. This thing. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. There it is. Quick. Pick it up. For fuck's sake. How do we pick it up? Responders are good people. They're trying their damn best, for sure. Things aren't good, and stuff is getting worse. Anyway, this is a reminder to myself. A reminder that this it's gun hard work. is my insurance. Things get real bad if the food runs out or the water runs dry. I get to decide how I leave this goddamn world. I'm not gonna let myself suffer. I'm not gonna die hungry and alone. All right, so we got the guy's life savings, but I don't know. Is he a real person we're supposed to save? Well, it sucks to be him, because I don't know where he is. Can you please use this? Thank you. Yeah, I left my life savings in an old blasted stump, said no one ever. Um, mm -mm, you are safe now. Oh, that's message of the day, I guess. Uh, complete training. Congratulations, volunteer. Should we look ourselves up? Can we look ourselves up? What is our name? Do we have a name? Are we the Colonel? No. Contact the responders using the database. What are we doing? Oh, look, we've got a mission marker this way. Oh, over here, this database, this computer. Urgent message, a loud horde of scorched is on the move and might be headed for our main base at Morgantown Airport. All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Bring weapons and medical supplies. Ooh, more restricted messages. By now everyone has heard about what happened with Casey and the two young survivors that arrived from Sutton. It's tragic, there are no words. Oh, but he just didn't know and they trusted him to know. So we've decided that all volunteers must now start as volunteer candidates first. And during this time, we go over the basics. Food, water, that sort of thing. Basically, food and water. 
Uh, Casey decided to travel into the mountains to clear his head. We tried to persuade him to stay, but it's his choice. We hope he'll return soon. What happened to Casey? The new kiosk should help us handle additional volunteers. Should any arrive? Lately, most of the survivors are too injured to help themselves, let alone others. But they see the kiosk as a sign that people will be arriving soon to help. We need that hope. Self serve kiosk seems to have some issues. The message of the day keeps cycling every hour, and every time I add a new volunteer, it doesn't save the profile or send the information to the admin terminal. We are the survivors, folks. We are learning how to live out here, and we need to preserve and distribute this knowledge. Do you know how to make clothing from animal hide? Determine a good berry from a poison one? Let's talk about it. Let's tell the world what we've learned. Welcome, responders and volunteers. Thanks for working with us. As you know, we are trying to cope with the influx of survivors that need our help. The new volunteer program is going to help us concentrate on medical help while volunteers focus on basic survival needs. We are also collecting data for the responders database, which will help us rebuild Appalachia. Appalachia. One day. So please contribute data when you can. Oh, these like side missions or something we can do? We'll leave those for now. I love my, my little aromatic get up. Um... Oh, we got some stuff. I do wish the map icons were a little more noticeable. Um, investigate Morgantown Airport. That is quite a walk. That is quite a way away. Let's have a look at our... Um, wrong button. Our missions. Oh god. What did I just do? No. Wrong button. I hear gunfire. Uh, I heard that the responders were headquartered at Morgantown Airport. Seems like a good place to search for clues about what happened to them. We also have... Oh, we still haven't built the sign! I need to read the schematics I've got in my pack. Okay, so we go to item. really nice before the war. Oh, look at this! Oh, do we have to read these to be able to do them or something? No idea. Treasure hunting. Um. Did that work? Oh, it costs us money to move our camp? Oh shit, I didn't realize that. Okay, so read the plan, crane, treasure hunting, sign schematics from your inventory. That didn't work, so... Ah, you have to... Okay, we have to read all of these. Oops. That, that one. Um. Whoa, who just ran past me wearing a pink backpack? Oi! Hi there. I see you, 187 you. Oh, they're getting into fights. All right, you, you do you. We can stay over here. Um, mm -mm. so Zylock never played this myself. Not a fan of the online only experience. Well, it's cool. It's it seems from what I understand now, it is it has now become more of like a Death Stranding type experience where you're technically playing a solo game, but as you can see, random people will like run through, but I can do nothing with this person. There is a setting that you can switch that uh, allows you to enter into combat with other people but from what i understand most people don't do it so i'm happy with that i'm not going to get in a fight and like lose all my shit when i don't even know what i'm doing um but yeah you can also do co-op 
so you can pull your friends in to help your missions. But for the most part, it's a solo adventure, solo game. You just happen to run into people. Like that, that person there with the pink backpack is obviously a real player. Just they're doing their own thing and I'm doing mine, which is which is cool. I would not play it if I was going to get my ass kicked. Uh, no, I, w I would not. Um, one day I will teach the next generation how to harvest rad roaches for the maximum amount of meat. If they have 187 in their name, you may want to keep a... Oh, no, what does that mean? Oh, no, what does it mean? Do I want to know? Oh, fuck, I don't know what it means. Call me naive, or maybe call me a good person, because uh, is it like a Nazi thing or something? Oh, fuck. I don't know. God, I don't even want to know. Um, If it was choice between rad roach meat and starvation? <laughs> to think I've had it for a long time, says Stickman. Cigar! Yeah, Fridays we stream late. We stream in the afternoons on Fridays. Oh, it's a police code for homicide. Okay, I thought it was going to be something like stupidly offensive. I mean, that's not necessarily good taste, but still. Police code for, for red rum. Red rum! Red rum! All right, well, it looks like we've got a long walk ahead of us. Um... Yeah, we've got the collect the cultist artifacts. I'm going to do some of these side missions on my downtime. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of get a bit more to grips with the game and the world and the systems and how I aim and stuff. I do feel a bit like this is this has been like welcome to amateur hour. Uh, but I did say coming in, I don't know these games. This is very new to me. Uh, so I hope. I hope this has been entertaining and I hope that next week we can get into it a little more and I can be a little more on the ball with like what we're doing and how we craft and what we need and less like I've just wandered out of the vault like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, so this is where we are going to call it for today. Let's go to the screen. I want to say thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. Friday afternoons are a lot of fun. Um, a little bit more quiet, you know, we're wrapping up the week. Uh, but it's it's a lot of fun. I love being able to share gaming with you all and hopefully give you a little bit of a little bit of entertainment on your Friday. Don't forget, tonight, Spornicus Rex, here's a link to his channel. Come hang out. He is playing Days Gone. Uh, he is gonna be doing more horde killing. If you haven't seen it yet, check out his horde killing masterclass video big shout out to stickman who was the lead editor on that i did a little bit but it was mostly stickman um do go check it out go over to his channel it's the latest video should be either at the top of the page or you can click videos and watch it there um do go check it out if you've seen it already watch it again because there's bound to be something that you're like oh shit yeah i forgot i forgot that I forgot that little tip um it is for both expert players and newbies to the game, people who've never played it before, people who are just getting into it, people who've played it once or twice. Even I learned stuff from it, and I've played the game like 12 times now. So there is something you will learn. Go check out his video. Also, come hang out tonight because he will be killing a lot of hordes. That is his playthrough tonight, Days Gone Horde Killing. He'll be going over some of those tips again, and probably some other ones that we forgot to include in the video, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, come hang out. It's a lot of fun. That'll be 7 p.m. tonight, so less than three hours from now over on Rex's channel. I will be back on Monday morning, 8 a.m. Mountain Time. We'll be back on this channel, both on Twitch and YouTube, uh, playing Days Gone. We're going to uh, continue our playthrough. We are going to go... We're going to go see Carlos. We're going to go see him and get revenge um so yeah yeah come hang out on monday it'll be monday morning 8 a.m purple line gamer says thank you for the stream well thank you for being here thank you for watching i do appreciate it thank you everyone um yeah have a great weekend everyone that's it from me have fun have a fun rest of your day as always stay safe out there bye